Um, my question is that, what do you think about the future of the Middle East? About? The future of the Middle East. Future of the Middle East. Regarding what's going on, wars everywhere in the Middle East. So, what do you think? It's pretty horrible. How is it going to be solved? Or not? Yeah. Nice short question to end with. <laughs> um, the Middle East is maybe the worst state it's been in for a long time. I mean, Egypt, most important country, is heading into the, maybe the darkest period in its recent history. But uh, the Saudi Arabia, which is, is bomb, destroy, is, you know, carrying out devastating bombing of Yemen. The U, even the U.S. thinks it's too much, you know, but they keep supporting it. Uh, uh, ISIS, which is a total monstrosity, is an outgrowth of the U.S. invasion of Iraq. That's understood very well by Middle East specialists, including CIA analysts and others. The U.S. didn't create it, but it created conditions for it. And it's a real monstrosity, a horrible monstrosity. And uh, the Assad regime is awful. The people opposing it are really doing it are equally awful. It's just, it's just a very ugly situation. Uh, I mean, it's kind of interesting the way it's described here. So, for example, typical example, the, the day after the negotiations with Iran, tentative negotiations were consummated, the New York Times, of course, had a ton of reporting. Uh, the front page had an article, which is worth reading, uh, by Peter Baker, uh, saying, you know, it's a good step, but there are dangers and so on. And the main thing he said is, is, is constantly said, we've got to be careful about Iran, you can't trust them. Iran is destabilizing the region, that supports aggression, it's, aggr it's the most aggressive state, supports terror. And he gives even some examples. He's one of the worst examples is that Iran is supporting forces in Iraq which kill American soldiers, right? In other words, when we, and that's destabilizing. When we invade Iraq, the worst crime of this century, and destroy it, and it create sectarian warfare, which is tearing the place apart, that's stabilizing. If someone resists it, it's destabilizing. That's taken for granted. And that's our problem here. As long as this culture is so retarded that it can even contemplate something like this, the world's in real trouble, including the Middle East.